Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to use the Final Draft Mini Movie Method template. If you don't know what the Mini Movie Method is, it's a story structure system invented by Chris Soth that breaks a movie up into eight parts, so you don't have a large second act in which you might get lost, but rather little pieces that make the whole system, uh, the whole story, more manageable. I like using the system because it makes sure you have a new turning point at least every 15 minutes. This video will not teach you about the mini movie method itself, but rather how you can use the system with the final draft template I'm about to show you. To download the template, go to my website, the link is down below in the description, and you will get sent a link to a zip file. Once you download the zip file, unzip it by double clicking it, and you will have this mini movie FDXT file. Open this in final draft, you can either double click it or go to File Open, and this will open up the template in Final Draft, or rather a new file based on the template file. Final Draft will give it the name of the template and untitled before the name. If you want to save the template as it is in the My Templates section, go to File, Save as Template, and click Add to My Templates. Give it a name. And now you will be able to access this template if you go to File, New from Template in the My Templates section. In terms of formatting, the template is based on the standard screenplay settings of Final Draft. What you see when you first open a file based on this template is the beat board with all the story steps, or rather mini-movies. You have eight mini-movies and they are on the left side vertically and on the top horizontally so you can use whichever system you like. Just delete the cards that you don't need. Every structure beat or mini movie contains a short reminder of what each beat or each mini movie is about. Next to each mini movie or below each mini movie, you have a beat card template that you can duplicate by copying and pasting it and where you can place your notes corresponding to this mini movie. This way you can organize your story ideas on the beat board in an index card-like fashion. Also, the mini movie beat cards are already connected to the pages of your script. If you take a look at the story map, you see that all 15 minutes or all 15 pages, there is a new mini movie or new beat or turning point, if you will. Because each mini movie now exists horizontally and vertically, it shows you the number two in the story map. Once you delete the ones you don't need, those will be gone. If you want to change the page number, move the diamond shapes around. Or if you want to break the connection, just right click and click remove. 